Ratios and Proportions C6 Proportion is representation of equivalent ratios. The numbers in tens 3 to 4 equals to 12 is to 16 is an example of a proportion. Find missing terms in each proportion. So the terms are 1 is to 2 equals to x is to 6 then b is 9 is to 15 equals to 3 is to x c is 4 is to 3 equals to x is to 12 and d is 5 is to 2 equals to 15 is to x the whole idea of this series on communication questions is to make you understand different terms like scale factor ratios proportion and then apply them in solving problems right so C6 is basically to understand what proportion is. So whenever we talk about proportion, we are talking about a number sentence which is written as 3 is to 4 equals to 12 is to 16. It could be written in fractions also, right? We could write this as 3 is to 4 equals to 12 is to 16, right? Both ways it is good enough, right? Now, so here the question is 1 is to 2 equals to x is to 6. We need to find what x is. So how do you find that? So we'll apply the knowledge of equivalent ratios and scale factor to get the answer. Now, the term which is given to us is we have to come from 1 is to 2 to x is to 6. So that means we know this is x is to 6. Now let's figure out. How do you get from 2 to 6? But that means multiply by what to get 6? So we know we need to multiply by 3. So if I times it by 3, I get 6, correct? So 2 times 3 is 6. So we'll multiply both by 3. Scale factor is 3 for us, correct? So that is how we get our answer. If I multiply both by 3, I get 3 is to 6. Do you see that? Now we can compare these two. So x should be equals to 3. So we get x is equals to 3. So that is how we get our answer, right? Let me do one more question and show you once again how to get the missing term from a proportion statement. This is kind of a number statement, right? E with equal to sign. So the question is 9 is to 15 equals to 3 is to x. Now think like this. How can I get 3 from 9? To get 3 from 9, we need to divide by 3 each number, right? So that is what we are going to do. If I divide 9 by 3, what do I get? I get 3. And if I divide 15 by 3, I get 5. Do you see that? So I get 3 is to 5. Now my question was 9 is to 15 equals to 3 is to x. Now we can compare these two, correct? If you compare, you will find that x should be equal to 5. So we get our answer. x equals to 5. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to do it. Correct? So for you, there are two more questions for you to try. 4 is to 3 equals to x is to 12. So you have to find the scale factor here. So what you need to find is always scale factor. So find scale factor. So what is the scale factor? You can find scale factor from 3 and 12, right? How do you get 12 from 3? And multiply this 4 with the same number, correct? Now in this case, 5 is to 2 equals to 15 is to x. So the scale factor you should find by multiplying 5 with the number to get 15, correct? And with the same number, multiply 2 and get x, correct? So that is how we do such questions okay i hope you understand it thank you